we will invite now the last speaker, Ms. Camila Almeida from British Council. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm sorry I was late. I think I was scheduled to speak at 10. Um, but I'd like to welcome all the British participants and the Brazilian ones. It's been a long way to select everyone and then Professor Marli and Professor Breno. Hi, I've uh, been dealing with Tim Baines uh, at start, then we changed. Uh, but I'm sure it was a good replacement. And um, just so you guys understand a little bit what the context was behind the funding, uh, for this workshop to happen. Um, let me see, I'm just gonna skip a little bit. So, uh, how many of you have heard about the Newton Fund before? Okay, roughly half. So basically the Newton Fund is an initiative from the BIS Minister from the UK, so Business Innovation and Science. Uh, so it uses ODA money, which we call Overseas Development Assistance. So it's basically a fund to promote social and economic development in partnering countries. So we have uh, 15 countries, part of the fund. Um, now, 2016, it starts in April, uh, Chile is going to come out. So it went out of the list because it went well to developed to, <laughs> to be part of the fund. So basically, uh, I just want you guys to have a look because you have opportunity to work with all these countries as well within the Newton Fund framework. So it's basically uh, an initiative they started in 2014 and initially it was meant to finish in 2019, but it was extended till 2021. The Brazil budget is 9 million a year and uh, it is spread to a few develop uh, delivery partners the British Council is one of them. So here we have a few other partners that you may access to benefit from the Newton Fund. So sometimes you may hear a, a, about a program that we don't run, but maybe another partner does, and you, in partnership with FAPESPI, may also benefit from it. Or maybe f uh, through your university, they have different arrangements. So just you understand that the British Council is just one of them. Um, so our... Um, our budget last year was two million pounds within this nine million that is uh, allocated to Brazil. And then for this year, we have the same amount between 2.2 .2 around uh, million pounds. So how does it work? Uh, the most delicate uh, uh, criterion here is the ODA. So roughly half of the proposals we get get rejected because they don't meet this criteria. Although they have a very high scientific merit, it's, it's very difficult to link a pathway to development. So what does it mean? Sometimes a research has a lot of value for an industry specific or maybe for private sector. So here we work with economic and social development. So that's how you need to see how your, your research can be applied to leave a legacy to partnering countries. So we need maybe you need to think about um, issues with climate change, human rights, or any other uh, social aspects of the country to, to get your research applied. So the arrangement we have is, uh, first the Newton Fund finds a partner, in this case was FAPESPI. So they agree on funding half of the, the total project. So the Newton Fund works within this framework with all countries. So once FAPESPI works, we choose the programs, and then we open a call. So what does it mean here? Even though you might have a very fundable project, we can't fund it directly. We need to have an open call for similar projects, for similar partners, for them to accept uh, specific projects, okay? And um, uh, all projects uh, have a British component, so you, you have to have a British uh, party, like in this case you guys see like half of the participants come from uh, UK universities and the Brazilian one. Uh, we are organizing, that's uh, actually very good news for you guys from Sao Paulo only, we are organizing a trilateral call with Uruguay to start this year. So we organize between six and eight workshops that uh, are going to have participants from Uruguay, Brazil and the UK. So 
just so you understand, FAPESP is our strongest partner. So sometimes we, we hold this presentation in other states. And we are afraid that the opportunities are very limited. But for you guys in Sao Paulo, are the widest ones. So uh, we always have like space to dialogue with FAPESP to bring up new opportunities. Maybe a, a new project you have with like social, uh, civil society. So you should benefit from it and then maybe uh, access our website for opportunities. Uh, sometimes it's not so clear the channel to reach uh, British partners. So we count with, uh, we show here EU, the international unit that m might help you to find uh, your partner in the UK. And the British Council helps throughout the whole process, so Professor Marley <laughs> knows quite well, and uh, Professor Tim as well, um, the step-by-step -step that we do for the workshops to happen. Um, other than the researcher links, uh, we work in six uh, different programs. So we have the PhD, which is um, it's a complement actually to the Science Without Borders. So here we would contemplate uh, social sciences um, students. It's actually frozen at the moment, uh, waiting for the federal government to sort out a few issues and then go back to Science Without Borders for us to work alongside them again. Then researcher links that you guys are, um, are holding at the moment. And we are opening uh, another call in April to hold another round of workshops. So maybe uh, you could participate as well in other states. So when you see, we are organizing 22 workshops in nine states in Brazil. So the Brazilian ones, uh, they might uh, just apply as an early career researcher for the states because the workshops, they are meant to be multidisciplinary. So sometimes the area, the topic of the workshop might interest you although it's just like for psychologists, but we had an engineer for a rehabilitation workshop in Curitiba last week. So it, you might think about how to, how to actually branch out your research to different areas. Uh, this is the workshop number three out of the 22 we are organizing. So for the UK participants, you also may, may, may apply for other ones because they also have the same criteria to to, to um, allocate participants from all the UK, Northern England, Scotland and Wales as well. Um, so yes, we have another 17, 18 for you guys maybe to apply. A few of them still have uh, the selection uh, process opened. Then we have institutional links, which is like a more robust project. Uh, this lasts uh, the, the whole of two years. So there'll be the link between a department or a research group or university. So here we create capabilities uh, that are not yet available. Obviously, always thinking about uh, the bilateral cooperation. So that, ma that might include some specific expertise in the UK that you may want to bring to Brazil. So sometimes in you know, a research group, you may be in contact with a, a department in the UK as well very closely, and you're thinking about a solution for like a specific issue. So here it will be more applied research. So it wouldn't be any th sort of publication or paper, but, but rather the application. The STEM education program is, uh, is rather interesting for you guys here from engineering because it's, um, so it's STEM, I don't know how many of you, if you are familiar, but it's what we call exatas here in Brazil. And uh, we brought students from the, the univers university, or university professors as well, to develop new methodology to teach STEM in basic education. So we got, uh, we, we, um, in partnership with CAPIS, we had a professor from each state and they went to the UK for a month to be in this lab to develop new methodology and brought to public schools here in Brazil. So it might be interesting for you as well. We don't have uh, the estimate for when it's gonna be open, but hopefully it will this year. Uh, then we have TVET, Technical Training and Employability Program. This is a uh, in partnership with colleges in the UK, so be more market driven. So to work with this, um, to enable actually uh, professionals to be more employable for the market. So if you have any partnership maybe with Eteki, Fateki here in Brazil, um, it might interest you. And then here is the biggest umbrella that we call PDE, 
professional development engagement. Um, here is where we finally work with civil society, so government bodies, botanic gardens, museums. So sometimes a department might have a science museum, for instance, or maybe have work with an NGO. Um, so here we bring uh, capacitation from the UK. So we, are, uh, we just announced the result of this call and we have uh, 20 institutions that are going to bring consultants from the UK. So for UK participants, you may be a consultant here to maybe train like uh, the museum staff or maybe train uh, the botanic garden staff in terms of cataloging maybe the all the items. So we were trying to reach more uh, towards civil society than universities that all other programs contemplate. Uh, so here, just an example of the institutional skill uh, links. So the grant is between 50 and 300,000 pounds. It's, it's quite different from like this workshop, for instance, uh, it only demands 42,000 pounds, so 21 pounds on each side. This one is much bigger because you can have 50 to 300 pounds to, from each side. So projects can be as big as 600 pounds. And uh, just an example of one we did, we worked with uh, Secretaria de Direitos Humanos, the Human Rights Secretariat here in Brazil, to, in the area of forensic anthropology. It's where we create this capacity to have um, a neutral uh, uh, body or laboratory to to assess uh, state violence uh, crimes. So because nowadays, if you see the Brazilian ones, you see the EML is connected to the state and also judges the state's vi state violence. So we tried here to create something rather neutral for these matters. And uh, yeah, we're not saying here, but. Uh, we also created uh, the clinics one with the uh, Amnesty Commission, the Commission de uh, to also look after these victims of state violence. So we have five clinics in four states in Brazil with uh, psychiatric and psychological treatment for state um, uh, victims. So it's a, it's a program that is already held by the Amnesty Commission, but for dictatorship victims. We are now uh, dealing with democra uh, democracy victims. So finally, here are the links. If you want to apply, subscribe and then find the opportunities. Uh, for the ones of you that don't know, the British Council year starts in April. So now, next month, we're going to be opening the new calls and they are due to happen till the end of March next year. And uh, we also encourage you to, to link into the Newton Fund to find all the opportunities with other delivery partners. And here, the Euro Access that is fed by the whole um, European Union countries. So you might find opportunities in other countries there. The British Council is, is the one managing the, the UK portal within the Euro Access. So I don't know if you might be looking for investment for your research, maybe scholarships for postdoctoral students in your group that you may advise. So your access will give you the opportunities available. Okay, here is the, um, the links and that's it. So if you have any questions, I'm open.